Humanity is overrated. There's no such thing. Our bodies break down, sometimes when we're 90, sometimes before we're even born. But it always happens, and there's never any dignity in it. I don't care if you can walk, see, wipe your own ass. It's always ugly, always. We can live with dignity. We can't die with it. Dignity means, I guess, um, it can mean a whole lot of different things, but you know, being able to have, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say self-respect, but just feeling good about where you are in life and what you're able to do, um, you know, your freedoms, your ability to be comfortable. What was his name, Roger Dangerfield? He was a comedian, and he used to always say, I just want respect, I just want respect. Dignity and respect kind of hand in hand? Valid, um, dignified, respect, yeah, respected and uh, meaningful and valid and purposeful. Doing things with the best of intentions, um, you know, just making decisions that you know are not only in your own best interest but the best interest of everyone else around you. Uh, you're speaking of human dignity, I gather, um, and I would say, I, I mean, you know, in, in simple terms, is there anything possibly more important? Um, something that should be granted almost without question? Uh, there should be nothing but human dignity, if I can go that far. That everybody can feel important, that they have something to offer. I think dignity is just, uh, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is um, respect. I don't know why, I guess that word just comes to my mind right away. And dignity, I just feel like, applies to being able to respect someone else for who they are, uh, uh, for um, everything about that particular individual, and just being able to respect that person for uh, how God created them. Dignity? Um, I think it'd just be like pride. Like, it's a. Uh your yourself like your self-respect I guess does it come from yourself or does it come from what others do for you and to you and I don't know the answer and I'm struggling with it myself it's a very broad term that means different things to a, a bunch of different people but being able to have confidence in yourself and being able to portray yourself the way you want to I think dignity means respect um, respecting oneself, respecting um, another person, giving them their appropriate dignity. Dignity that means that every person, uh, not just in Canada, but ev everywhere around the world, uh, will be treated with a level of fairness uh, that, 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 that every person should be treated with. In other words, they shouldn't be homeless, they shouldn't be hungry, uh, they, they, they should have an education, they should have proper health care. All those, all of their basic needs, and some of their not basic needs are met. It's a part of life, part of life. But how should we approach it? Those who care for them. People die of all kinds of illnesses. And most part of care teams are very open to care for people with any incurable disease. So we're interested in how physically a patient might feel and I guess that's the issues around pain and those problems and we're interested in those emotional symptoms, the fear, the anxiety. My husband died a few months ago of pancreatic cancer and I am astonished to realize that I have not made a living will at this point. I had told them when I came in 
what was to be done and not done. And her doctor had told him. When her doctor came at 6 o'clock and she was still alive, he was furious. And I spent nine hours with him gasping for air, fighting for a morphine drip. It's a failure. We failed. And you did fail. We failed. Crowds marched in the streets around Ground Zero to celebrate the killing of Osama bin Laden. Among them, Army Captain Patrick Dowdell, just back from Afghanistan. I'm proud of the guys that were willing to go out there and, and take care of business. It didn't take long for news to spread after President Obama's statement late last night. Let me say to the families who lost loved ones on 9-11 that we have never forgotten your loss. USA! USA! Times Square looked more like a party as hundreds took part in the celebration. It's a great hour for USA, great day for USA. In Philadelphia, instead of the game, baseball fans were glued to their phones. While some broke out in chants of USA, USA. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg called the killing of bin Laden a critically important victory. And nowhere was that victory felt more than here at Ground Zero, where nearly 3,000 people were killed in the attacks. Now that he's finally uh, dead, it's, uh, it, it feels good. Michael Carroll lost his father, a firefighter, on 9-11. He says bin Laden's death won't ease his pain, but it does bring some closure. Uh, to feel excited about somebody's death is a weird feeling, but when it comes to him, it's all right. For many Americans, this is a day they waited for for nearly a decade. A moment some thought would never come. I just want to There's no such thing. Our bodies break down, sometimes when we're 90, sometimes before we're even born. But it always happens, and there's never any dignity. I don't care if you can walk, see, wipe your own ass. It's always ugly, always. But live with dignity. You can't die with it. Dying's easy. Living is hard. I want to be in pain. I don't want to be miserable. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world. I watched this on TV the, the other day. That the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. That's bad. And on nights like this one, we can say to those families who have lost loved ones to Al-Qaeda's terror, justice has been done. Still go walk in, boom. You just, you don't do that. They didn't. Uh, yeah. I felt very happy, but also kind of bad because... Why don't you feel bad? One of the worst people in the world is dead. Sure, it's sad that people die, but since he murdered tons of other innocent people, I mean, he's not innocent. I was happy that our nation felt pride. That's good, but I'm not cheering because this is still a man's life. It's a bad man's life, but it's still life.